The New England Patriots and the new regime, which Ron Mayo is the head coach, have officially made their first move, bringing in a former Steelers third-round pick, Chukuma Okorafor. Now, please do me a favor and comment down below how you say his name correctly. That way I can get it you know, right going forward. But in this video, I want to break down what he's going to bring to the Patriots as well as break down a little bit of his film to show you guys what the Patriots just added. Now before we deep dive into some of this film, you're going to see him at the right tackle position here, so keep in mind he plays a lot of right tackle. But as for a core four, he is 26 years old, a former third round pick of the Steelers back in 2018. He's played out the final year of his four year $3.4 million contract and was testing the free agent market for the first time in his career. Um, but then he agreed to a three-year $29.25 million deal with, Pit with Pittsburgh last offseason, but the Steelers elected to cut him in the recent weeks to open up some money, leaving him as a free agent before the start of official free agency. Now, in 2023, Akora 4 appeared in 14 games for the Steelers and made 7 starts for them across the offensive line. However, what I will say is, he's not very good, he's not very bad, he's basically just very, you know, average. Now, the Patriots are a team who are losing, or potentially losing, Owenu, uh, I think his name is, he is the right tackle for the Patriots, and he looks like he'll be hitting the free agency market with them deciding to franchise tag Kyle Duggar. Now, this is a nice pickup, right? Obviously, the main weakness of the Patriots was the O-line, and they needed to bring in someone that can just add depth to the team. And as you see right here, does a very good job here against the, uh, you know, the Jets front D-line here. Does a very good job, even off that back foot, has the strength in these legs to really drive him back. Does an amazing job there on the edge rusher. And I feel like, you know, um, you know, a core four is going to be someone who can start, but also gives you the, you know, the ability to bring guys off the bench like Bell Belichick has always liked to do. I don't know if Draw May will be the same way, but I do like what um, you know Core Four does for our unit. Okay, so real quickly, I want to list off some of his strengths going forward, especially coming out of the draft. He was known as you know, tremendous NFL size. I mean, you can tell right away the dude is just massive, right? Um, and he uses that mass to clog up the, you know, the exterior of the offensive line. I think he does a great job at keeping his defender in front of him, allowing the quarterback to sometimes even make plays outside of the pocket. Now, listen, he al always has shown the ability to snatch and torque his defender, you know, out of the gap, which is huge. That's something you need here as an offensive lineman. So he does that at a, uh, at a you know, a decent pace as well um you know he, he has a good stance good feet work um good footwork i should say uh, but someone you can just rely upon to keep your quarterback healthy most of the time and like i said he's not someone that's going to come in here and make a massive difference he's not going to come in here and be someone who um is a franchise right tackle but when you watch him play he knows what he's doing he has a combination of size speed quickness um and, and the footwork to be able to just keep your quarterback safe in the pocket for the right amount of time now when you talk about a guy like you know a Jaden Daniels or um you know someone who can come in here to New England and be that threat both on the legs and the air I think Jaden Daniels could be or could utilize having a guy like Okafor or Okorafor um I think he would be a perfect fit here in New England because of you know a core four style of play right but with that being said we don't know who the offensive quarterback will be for the Patriots going forward comment down below your prediction who do you want the Patriots to take at three I would want them to go Jaden Daniels but there's people saying that maybe JJ McCarthy's in the mix maybe Drake May's in the mix or maybe they just go ahead and take Marvin Harrison Jr. and elect to sign a guy like Kirk Cousins or a guy like you know Russell Wilson to the team and then draft a quarterback next season but again when we watch this man film I really like what he has displayed over his career here in Pittsburgh I think he's done a lot of good things his time here um, he started at both uh, tackle spots left tackle right talk right tackle throughout his career so I think he brings a little bit of versatility as well especially if um, you need some more talent up up on the left side or if you have someone out and you need to play the left side I think he can do that as well um, he's got strong hands he's patient doesn't commit too many penalties as well so I feel like um, th this is something that could be 
very good year for for the Patriots going forward now I need you guys to do me a favor and comment down below a letter grade for this signing you give it an A a B a C let me know what you guys give it uh, subscribe hit the like button join the family we'll be posting a ton of you know Patriots videos and NFL videos throughout the rest of the offseason so make sure you guys are here for that and I'll see you guys in the next video peace